Hi everyone and welcome to another foil review. Today we're going to talk about the Alpine Foil Access Lift. For 2018, Alpine Foil have brought out a new big front wing. This is called the Lift. I tested the Lift on the Access Carbon setup with the aluminum fuselage and carbon mast. This foil weighs 2.77 kilos. That's quite light for a foil of this size and this construction. The mast is 88 centimeters long from the bottom of the plug for the box system down to the fuselage. If you include the plug and the fuselage, you end up at 96 centimeters. The cord of the mast tapers from 12 centimeters down to 11 centimeters and has a profile depth taper from 16 millimeters down to 14 millimeters. Now the new lift front wing has a span of 63 and a half centimeters from tip to tip and a 14 and a half centimeter cord. The back wing is the standard back wing which has a 42.5 centimeter span and a 7.5 centimeter cord. The distance between the wings from the trailing edge of the front wing to the leading edge of the back wing is 54.5 centimeters which is quite large and gives you a nice pitch stability. The fuselage itself from the access is 82 and a half centimeters long from the nose to the tail. The stabilizer angle can be varied from 0 to 1.1 degrees with um, the plastic shims that are delivered and the same thing can be done with the angle of incidence of the front wing. The Alpine access system has undergone quite a lot of changes over the last years. This year finally they have rounded off the nose of the fuselage before they had a quite sharp pointy nose which was a bit of a safety issue and made the fuselage unnecessarily long. All aluminum fuselages for 2018 will feature the new sacrificial anode. Um, unfortunately I can't show it to you on this one because this is sort of a pre-production one. However if you look at the review of the ultimate foil you can see how that sacrificial anode works. Trust me it's actually a pretty amazing piece of technology. The finish and engineering of the Alpine foils, as always, is super clean and quite frankly amazing. They've got quite a lot of intricate lines along the fuselage, um, reducing drag and increasing strength. If you want a bit more detail about the whole um, access fuselage and mass system, I recommend you have a look at the review of the Wave foil. I've gone into a bit more detail in that video and I'll skip over that in this review as I don't want to repeat myself. So I'm mainly going to be talking about the new lift wing. This is by far my favorite wing of the setup. Um, again, what Alpine does on a lot of their wings is they've got this quite interesting tip design. Yeah, it almost has a bit of a forward rake. And as you can see from the outline, the wing is actually fairly straight and then right at the end of the tip it actually curves down in an anhedral more into sort of like a winglet shape. Um, the wing tip shape itself it doesn't come to a sharp taper you just have the two sharp pointy ends here and you actually have sort of a flat area here. It's actually quite good if you actually fall on this this is actually quite dull and it won't have a chance to cut you. This wing here 
um, was delivered with the matte finish. So if you compare that, for example, to the Wave Wing, which has got the sort of nice and shiny finish, this has got the matte finish, which in my opinion is a lot better for um, ventilation and riding. So let's talk about how this thing rides. Um, the first thing I want to talk about is the amazing pitch stability. By having such a large distance between your front and back wing, it gives you an amazing pitch stability. The one thing that's a bit different from, the one thing that makes the Alpine foils a bit different from other foils is they've got quite a minimal amount of self-riding moment on the roll axis. Let me explain a little bit better. Um, when you're sort of riding along and you've heeled the board over, so for example, you're hiking upwind or you're sort of carving into a tack, or you know, you're just going through a jibe, um, you've got the board heeled over. Now, um, other foils will tend to have a strong self-riding moment. So if you take the pressure off the board, the foil will sort of will try to ride itself quite strongly. Um, on the Alpine foils, this is not very strong. And this tendency, if you leave the foil alone, it'll just keep going at that angle. That's something really cool that you can play with. However, if you're used to other foils, that's something you're going to have to get used to first, especially if, um, on tacks um, where you actually need to push a bit on your toes to get that board flat again. Once you get a hang of that, actually it's amazing. The super low takeoff speed of this wing is awesome. It actually makes it a very good wing to ride in waves. It's actually really good for people to start out on. It's amazing in light winds. You can get it going in eight to nine knots of forward speed. Um, it's amazing for most of the free ride tricks that I like doing. At the moment, I really prefer riding big wings. So um, wings like this are really fun. You can do really tight turns because you can go slow. You can basically sit down on the board, kneel down, all the cool tricks at the moment. Um, so I would say this is actually a really excellent all round free ride setup. If you're starting to learn and want to get an Alpine foil, this is the wing that you really should get. This will help you ride. However, that said, it is not a pure beginner wing. You will have an amazing range with it. You can go still go pretty fast. You have that amazing stability. So for progression, tacking, jiving, free riding, tricks, this wing actually is amazing for that. So it's not a wing that you'll outgrow very quickly. So I really recommend if you're starting out, start out with this wing and then keep it. Only need you, know, you only need to upgrade to a race wing or something else if you actually want to get specifically into that discipline. And otherwise, this lift wing is sort of, it does everything and it does everything well. So in conclusion, the Alpine Access Carbon lift setup is amazing for beginners and for free riders. And it's also quite handy in small waves. Um, it is my favorite wing from Alpine at the moment. It rides very similar sort of to the Moses 590. Um, it is not quite as lifty, for example, as a big surf wing, but as large free ride wings go, it is actually one of the sort of liftier ones, as the name says. If you are an advanced rider, this will help you progress with your free ride riding, with your tacking and your jiving. It makes these things quite easy. Remember that you have to get used to it a little bit as the riding moment on the roll axis is a little bit different than other foils. And that extra pitch stability is an amazing bonus to have with that. It is not the most agile wing for turning because of that large distance between the front and back wings, but it is something that you can get used to and that you will actually get quite accustomed to very quickly. So thanks for watching. I hope this helped you make a decision on the lift foil from Alpine. If you uh, want to support us, remember to subscribe and click on that bell button so you can receive notifications. And if you're interested in supporting us financially, please remember to visit our Patreon site where you can basically become a patron of our channel and support us financially so we can keep making videos like this all year round. Thanks for watching. Have fun on the water. Rock on.